Hi guys, in this video we are going to create a chatbot using open source large language models. So in my previous video we have seen how to create a chatbot using GPT-4 API access but there are costs associated with this method because this is openai's platform.openai.com and when we use the API keys here we have to incur the cost whenever we run uh, the systems using these API keys but today we are going to look at an open source solution and this is by using the LM studio so using LM studio you can do everything but in your local system so this is going to be interesting follow this video to get started now first of all you need to go to python.org and download the python anything greater than python 3.8 so now we have python 3.12 you can download a uh, python 3.11 because the newer version can have some issues next we need the visual studio code editor you can use any editor but this is my favorite so i have already downloaded this next we are going to download the lm studio so head over to lmstudio.ai and head over to this link for windows system so we click on the windows system get it downloaded then install it and now let's open the lm studio so if i head over to my lm studio so this looks something like this so the interface looks something like this so you will be greeted at the home page so here it says discover download and run local large language models that is pretty interesting you're going to discover download and run local llms it supports llama mistral falcon mpt starcoder replit gpt neo x and these are the different model files that you can see that these are different models that are available for example mistral 7b code llama 7b open orca then we have mythomax vacunia 13b stable beluga dolphin llama we have so many different models that you can try it out try this out these are all open source models and let's try out one of these so what you can do is you can just go here and type for example mistral press enter and then you would be greeted with uh, different models here you can see the number of downloads and the number of likes here this is the famous one you can also see the dates here so blokes mistral 7b instruct is the most downloaded one so on the right you can see uh, different quantization levels uh, so I have already downloaded this Q5 so it shows downloaded here but uh, for example if you want to download the Q4 then uh, that's a uh, Q4 if you want to download you just need to click download here and then the download will start here okay so I'm just gonna cancel this and clear this because i have already downloaded this next we can go to this chat function ai chat and load up a model here so i have only one model so let's load up the blocks mistral instruct so what you can do is just click there and wait for the model to load so this is pretty fast it loaded up pretty fast so i'm going to ask it tell me a joke let's see the output how fast can it generate so this is the output why don't scientists uh, trust atoms because they make up everything pretty good now what i was about to show is to uh, make a chatbot so for that we have to go to visual studio so I'm going to create a new folder where I'm going to work. So let me create up a new folder. Let me call this folder, for example, 148 chatbot. And we are going to enter into this folder. We're going to copy the link of the folder. Okay. 
so then we are going to open up a visual studio code it's loading up so we click on open folder here we paste in the link of our folder here and press select folder so we can see that we are in this folder now now let's create a virtual environment so we hold down Control shift and press p and then we select this create environment then we select vnv which is a virtual environment and then let's select uh, 3.11 here so we just click on 3.11 creating environment show logs creating venv this is a pretty a uh, fast process uh, it is loading up the environments and we are going to install everything within this environment so that there is no clash between um, different modules and different versions of python installs and different libraries that i install in the environment variable so we have this environment uh, ready now we can click on the dot venv folder I'm going to click on scripts, click on activate.bat and run this file. So you can see that there is .venv which means we are inside the .venv folder. So we are inside the virtual environment. So we head back just cd dot dot. Just head back to the main folder. Our main folder is this one, 148 chatbot and then we can close this bat we can minimize this now let's create our file so we create this python file app.py py and now let us begin coding here so first of all we need to have openai so we are going to say import openai but since we can see that wiggly lines which means that the library is not installed here so we need to say pip install open ai so we see that this library is being installed this uh, should be pretty fast next what you're going to do is now we are going to put in our api key so open um, open ai dot api key is the api key that we need to put so for now let's put it null and how do you get your api keys from gpt4 we are not going to use gpt4 therefore we don't need this step but if you really wanted to use gpt4 this is the step you go to platform.openai.com and then you need to go to the api keys create new secret key and uh, get the api keys from here but this is not what we are doing here because we are trying to go open source here and without any cost so this uh, let's leave this here let's define a new function called uh, chat with gpt okay and we are going to put in prompt here so this will be our input next we are going to um, write in the response so what is the response that uh, you want so we are going to use open ai's uh, chat completion feature here and in the chat completion feature we are going to create this inside the create we have to put the model so the model here will be you can put anything here just gpt uh, let's say gpt4 uh, 0613 here sorry 06-13 or 0613 okay comma and uh, we can put in um, messages here message messages uh, is equal to you can put in a role here role is the role of uh, user and just a minute sorry so it's a user and content is the prompt whatever we have put as the input here 
so after we get that response we need to return the response so we're not going to return the entire response but uh, the first choice of it so that will be uh, the first output or the first choice in the list and also we are going to extract the message from that list we are going to extract the content from the message and then we are going to strip everything uh, so as to get a cleaner response next we are going to start this up this is pretty simple so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to equal to put in a comma inverted comma so underscore underscore main is equal to underscore underscore here and we say we start a for loop a while loop uh, which is an infinite loop so while true and we say human input what is a human input we just take inputs from our keyboard we display this thing and then we get the input here next we can say uh, the response what is going to be a response we can use the function that we have created so this function and we are going to put in the human input as the input so we're going to put in a human input we're going to take the response from the user via this function via this uh, inbuilt function uh, store this uh, input of the user in this variable and uh, we put this variable uh, with chat with gpt in the function and then we get the output of uh, chat with gpt function and store it in this variable response so next we can just print uh, the response of the chatbot so chatbot print and we can say that response okay and what you can do here uh, is if uh, there we need to put some criteria of a stop page here so if him, human input uh, dot lower uh, in okay so if anyone uh, if you want to quit uh, this uh, chat you can type any of these so you can either type quit you can either type exit or you can either type uh, buy so once you did this uh, it will break it from here so that uh, you can quit the system because you can quit the code because we are running a forever loop here so having said that we can just try to run this to see for any errors so python dot python under uh, python space app dot by press enter so it is asking for some human inputs so tell me a joke it should not work because there are no api keys that is perfect now we don't need the api keys of openai what you're going to do is pretty simple and pretty good and this is the magic that you are waiting for so we head over to lm studio and uh, since we already have loaded this model we are going to go to this local server here as well you can load up this model but since this model is already loaded up we are just going to start the server once you start the server what happens is that it creates an endpoint and the script that you're running in the visual studio uh, code editor will feel that this is an open ai's api key so that is pretty awesome you can mimic the open ai api key structure using this endpoint here so once we have started we have put in a server port of one two three four so you can see this copy this Control c and it says that if you're using an open ai client python node etc set the base path or base path property in your configuration object to this object and then what you're going to do is we head back to uh, the visual studio code and there we are going to type open ai dot api base so we are going to set this base as the url that we have seen http and we are also going to put in openai dot api type as openai 
open underscore AI. Now having done this, if we run this now, then it should be able to give us some output. So let's say, tell me, uh, or what is the capital of easy question? What is the capital capital of France? Okay, let's wait for the result. We can see in the LM Studio, the answer is Paris here, but if we head over to LM Studio, we can see the server logs that what are the requests that it has processed. So as you can see here, it received post request from this completion with body this role is user and content is what is the capital of France. And here it it's generating tokens and in under four tokens, it generated the answer Paris. It returned the answer to the Paris. I returned the content as Paris and it stopped the code. So total tokens used is four. Now let me uh, give it a pretty uh, a longer command so as to see the output. So let's say tell me a joke and now head over to LM Studio. You can see that this is being generated. So this is accumulated tokens. So these are the number of tokens. You can see that it has generated uh, it pretty fast. So let's look at the output again at the Visual Studio. So want to hear a dirty joke? Uh, horse fell in the mud. Okay, this is pretty simple. Okay, so this is how you uh, can use that open LLM, open source LLM and can, you know, just play around and do even do important things. So what you need to do is that you need to load up your models here. Now I have only missed Mistral instruct here. You can go to this homepage. You can search for any model. Um, you can also find different models here. Okay. They have the Twitter or X uh, account here the discord server is pretty active they have the github page as well you can check this out so basically if i summarize everything as i always do we have created chatbots using openai's gpt4 api keys but now we don't need api keys because we can use the open source llms and that is pretty awesome so this is a function that you have defined for chat with gpt when we put in the prompt and this is the main function when we run and if you want to stop this we can say exit here and this will stop the chatbot so we are using open ai library but the uh, api and everything that we're using is not required at all so this is actually api key we don't even need to put this API key. So that is pretty awesome. So this is a simple code to interact with the chatbot. Now, if you are interested in learning more about uh, LM Studio, I will create a detailed video on this, but I suggest you to have a look at this video where I have created and set up the Autogen so Autogen is a framework that enables you to create very detailed large language model applications and you are definitely going to like this video from this i thank you so much this is the host prompt engineer signing off bye bye have a nice day